Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a very exciting video because I'm gonna share some of my summer knitting plans for this year with you. Like the name suggests, it is a plan which does not mean it cannot be changed and just thrown in the bin halfway through the summer because I decided to do something completely different. Um, also I don't quite know how many of these I will actually make, how many I will be able to make because this girl I've got other things to do as well in summer apart from knitting all day long for example writing my bachelor thesis yeah let's not talk about that let's stick to knitting I am in desperate need of some more shirts and summer tops in general let's also acknowledge this beauty that I'm wearing today it is the eyelet bralette by high risk makes and I would really really recommend this pattern it was so fun to knit this up and it was also really quick and I think it looks super cute as well so before we get into the video like and subscribe to my channel you can also head over to Instagram at Marvelli to follow me there which made, would make me really really happy because I do post some other content on there you can also check out my Ravelry page if you're interested in that as well and let's get into the video so I've got five different patterns and the first one I have already talked about a little bit in one of my podcast episodes I believe episode number four I will link everything up here um, if I mention something and it is the Cecile top by Susanne Müller, which is a German designer. And I really like the shirt. I think it's a very intriguing design. It is also very timeless and it's just what I need. Like there are a few things in my life um, that I actually need and not just want. And that is one of them. So I really cannot wait to knit this one up. The stitch gauge is 25 and 34 rows. Sadly, it is not as size inclusive as um, people would want, I guess. But I think that there are many other designers out there that kind of have a similar design. I know my favorite things knitwear have also got a shirt like this. Um, but I wanted to make this one because it's just absolutely gorgeous and I just need it in my wardrobe so that is the first pattern that I will hopefully make the next one is something that I have purchased the pattern that I have purchased quite a while ago and I have also attempted to make it but failed miserably from the very beginning and it is the ranunculus I have also talked about this before in my podcast it is such a timeless design it is so intriguing it's got like the perfect mixture of being kind of very classic but still has some intriguing design elements and i just really want to make it because everyone is super hyped about it and i want to see what the hype is because so many people say it's super fun to knit up and that's exactly what i'm craving something really fun to knit up <laughs> So our, the stitch gauge for this one is quite interesting because it's got a lot of variations. It suggests basically you can like get any yarn or use any type of yarn that you want with any type of gauge in any size you want. Um, but I think I have to tweak it a little bit because that was the problem I had uh, last time as well is because there were so many options that I was just overwhelmed uh, with the amount of them. <laughs> so I am someone who needs like a clear structure and tell exactly tell me what to do, how to do it and not give me all of this um, open space to decide on my own. Um, you are supposed to knit this up in six millimeter needles, which is a US 10, but I want to use a fingering weight yarn paired with mohair so I think if I get like a five millimeter needle that would also be fine I also want the narrow neck version so I don't want it oversized and I do not want the fabric to be see-through that is like my number one concern I do not want to have anything see-through um, with this one so that's where I'm kind of at but I will make it this summer 
I hope, I really, really do hope because it's just such a beauty. The next one is also a very classic design. It is the camisole number no. four by My Favourite Things Knitwear. Of course, how could I not include her? This is such a popular design and I really can see why. It is very, very lovely. The stitch gauge is 25 stitches and 32 rows in broken double rib and i've never worked in broken double rib but i think the lip the look of it is just absolutely stunning so that's why i want to make it i was very torn between camisole number well i wanted to make camisole number two four and five eventually but i think camisole number five is the one with the high neck and the double rib like the whole shirt and I've heard that it's very time consuming because you work on three millimeter needles and because I am still working on a project with three millimeter needles I want to break from such tiny needles <laughs> with such thin yarn um, then I think that one is just more enjoyable as of right now and yeah I don't think there is any more to say with this pattern it's very nice very timeless again very uni um universal versatile that's the word um and i think it would just would look great in my wardrobe the second to last pattern is another very well-known designer it is jesse maid and it is the ripper bralette i've seen this everywhere as well especially with summer coming round or being already here since it's already really really hot at least here in austria and the reason why i want to make this is because i've got this variegated yarn and i think it would look great in this not only is the pattern uh, very very size inclusive and versatile for just any occasion really um i think it is also a great summer knit of course because it's in the summer knit um video here um but i wanted to use a of like all of this yarn that i have and i just thought that that would look really great because the sample piece is also in a variegated yarn and something just drew me to this the stitch gauge is 24 stitches and 33 rows in a 3x3 three three rib also you don't need a lot of yarn which i think is the next thing what why is why i wanted to make this pattern because i've got quite a few like leftover skeins that i just want to get out of my stash really or just or f the ones that i do have i want to use up completely and i think this is a great top for it so the last pattern that i have is a pattern that i'm not sure a lot of people know about and it is the strawberry field tea by camille k this design has not been out for super long but once I saw it, I immediately knew I had to get it and I was actually waiting for the top version to come out because she's got a t-shirt version and a top version. And I always thought I liked the top version better but now looking back at it, I think I actually prefer the T, which is quite interesting, I thought. And the design is just absolutely stunning. It's a fingering weight held with a lace, so a sport weight. Um, and so you can let me rephrase that you combine <laughs> a fingering and a lace weight to then get a sport weight but i think you can also just get away with a normal fingering weight like the tin liner for example that stitch gauge is uh, 17 uh, 27 sorry so i think that would be fine as well the only thing that is holding me back for in terms of making this design even though it's absolutely amazing and I really want to have this in my wardrobe is the needle size because you are supposed to use 225 to 75 and 3 millimeter needles which is a one two and two and a half US size needles that is absolutely mind-blowing and frightening at the same time to work on such tiny needles because it it's gonna take forever 
Like I am already making a shirt on three millimeter needles and that's already taken me way longer than what it probably should do. And I'm not really committed um, to get myself back on that tiny fiddly needle design process. We'll see. I still want to make it. I still want to get the pattern because the design is, I've not really seen anything like it before and that's why it's so intriguing to me. But we'll see if that's actually gonna happen. That's like the, what I mentioned before, the it's a plan and things can be changed. That is probably one of the shirts that might get changed. But we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, these were my patterns that I would like to make, my plans or like a guideline um uh, what i wanted to make this summer i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you give one of these patterns a try or have already made some of them definitely let me know down below in the comments also tell me what you're working on right now i would be really interested like and subscribe to my channel also head over to instagram and follow me there if you would like and have a good rest of the day, have a good week, weekend, whenever you're going to watch this. And I would say happy knitting and I'm going to see you next time. <laughs> Bye!